Hello everyone, my name is Katie, I am the Introverted Reader and welcome to another episode of Trope Talk. This is a series on my channel, if you're not familiar, where I pick out a trope from this Jack Skellington mug and just sit and talk about it. I never know what the trope's going to be before I pick it out, but I only have two left <laughs> and I don't know which one's which, but let's just lift this one. So, thank you Jack. So I'll need to think up some more. Um, if you guys have any ideas for tropes that you'd like me to talk about, leave them down below and Jack shall file them away for another day. But, oh, cliffhangers. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I mean, first and foremost, if you're not familiar, um, a cliffhanger is usually whenever a, like you get into towards the end of your book, right? And then the ending is like something that's like really, really shocking. Like, like your character turns around and sees something and goes, <gasps> or like something like that. Like something it's sort of like, um, you know, until next time sort of thing. And you're kind of left hanging there as if you're hanging off a cliff. <laughs> you're kind of left hanging there um, waiting to see what is going to happen next. Let me just, let me just adjust you. Um, you're kind of left there wondering what happens next. Um, as, I mean, as far as cliffhangers go, I don't mind them. Like a lot of my favorite series have a lot of, have a lot of good cliffhangers and a cliffhanger leaves you excited most times whenever you're, um, you know, like sort of like anticipation for um, the next book. So like, for example, Ember in the Ashes up there. I haven't read the fourth one yet, so no spoilers for the fourth one. I'm going to get to it. But that one um, definitely has a lot of cliffhangers. And I remember reading the Heroes of Olympus series by Rick Riordan. And I think is Mark, Mark of Athena is the third one. I believe the cliffhanger at the end of that one absolutely killed me. It absolutely killed me. <laughs> like, I remember finishing it. Um, before I was due to go to work and then I remember being in work and like not being able to stop thinking about it like <laughs> all the way like I would be halfway through my shift and then my brain would just be like but that ending though and I'd be like oh like don't do that to me um sometimes cliffhangers can be really really good whereas sometimes they can be like a little bit annoying you know, like you're sitting reading it and you're just like, you're so frustrated and it's like, oh, I need to know. Like, I don't want to wait a year for the next one. You know, like they can be both good and bad. I mean, if it's a good cliffhanger, you're excited. But if like, it's a really bad one. I mean, I can't really think of any like bad cliffhangers, you know, like I suppose like a bad cliffhanger would just be like if the author just like ended things like really, really abruptly and you're just like, what? what that's it what no and then that can be very very frustrating but like it does sort of ignite this excitement within you doesn't it like it doesn't matter whether you're just whether you're annoyed and frustrated or if you're really excited about it like it ignites something within you and then you know you know for a fact that the second you get wind of the next book coming out in that series you're just like I need it. Like, I, I need it. I need it. I need it. I need it. So like, it's incentive. You know what I mean? Authors know what they're doing when they put cliffhangers in there. They really, really do. Because, um, like Cassandra Clare would do it a lot. Um, PC Cast would do it a lot. And like, it's smart. That's, that, that's good. That's good marketing. You know what I mean? Like, they're just like, oh, we'll put a cliffhanger at the end of it. And then they'll be all so excited that whenever I drop the pre-order link from my next book, they'll want it. You know what I mean? And, um, I remember reading the Nevernight trilogy by Jay Kristoff. I know that's hit and miss around here, but I really liked it. <laughs> um, and my favorite of the trilogy is actually the second one, um, God's Grave, because the cliffhanger at the end of God's Grave, the cliffhanger at the end of God's Grave. Like, if you've read it, you know what I'm talking about. I'm not gonna give anything away, but the... <laughs> you ever just sit and think about the cliffhanger at the end of God's Grave and you're just like, what in fresh hell was this? <laughs> like, like it's, again, I remember finishing it and at, at first I was just like, oh no, this is so annoying. And then like wanting to like throw the book against the wall. But at the same time, I was like, this was so good. So like it ignites all these feelings inside of you and you're just like, it, like it, it gets you excited. You know what I mean? Then I love that. Like I love that excitement. Like I love being excited about, um, 
about like reading and stuff because let's face it this past year we haven't had very much to be excited about have we so like it, it's good that I have had a lot of these books with all your wonderful and emotionally scarring cliffhangers to keep me going <laughs> So yeah, that's really all I have to say on that subject. All in all, cliffhangers, don't mind them. I mean, again, depending on the series. I mean, if I'm really enjoying the series and I'm reading, then I'm excited. But uh, anyway, what do you, how do you feel about cliffhangers? Are you a fan? Are you, or do you prefer getting closure at the end of it? Or like, what, what's your take? What's your take on it? Um, so yeah, like I said, I only have one more piece of paper left inside of that Jack mug. So <laughs> I'm going to try and think up some more tropes for next time. But if you guys have any ideas or just something in general, trope wise, that you would like me to talk about, be it in like movies or books or whatever, it doesn't have to be something really conventional, can be anything. Um, something in particular that you don't like um or like within a book whatever um so yeah if you have an idea for any of that leave it down below and also down below is my twitter my instagram follow me there and subscribe if you haven't already we are over 150 subscribers the number changes every single time one minute i see it's 154 then i see 153 then i see it's different every single time but however many of you there are thank you and yeah till next time bye